Hello everyone. Today we are going to study a topic in medicine. But before that, these questions will help us remember the topic very well. So what is the most common vasculitis in children? What is acute kidney injury plus abdominal pain plus palpable purpura? What is child with sore throat, runny nose, cough? And then one week later, muscle aches, red purple rash over arms, buttocks and legs. And then one month later, fatigue and hematuria. Can you think of anything? What is the top differential diagnosis for this? And the answer is Hanox scalene purpura. So this is a very good uh, diagram. In this, there is kidney injury. The kidney looks sick here. And again, it is the most common form of systemic vasculitis in children. This is a child whose lower extremity, on his lower extremity, there is palpable purpura and then there is arthritis. And there is belly pain because of the vasculitis and it can also, they can also have pararectal bleeding because of that. So, Hanoxkillian purpura presents with palpable purpura, diffuse abdominal pain, arthritis, arthralgia, hematuria, and or protein urea. It can also present, uh, present as glomerulonephritis, which is mainly characterized by immunoglobulin A deposition. HSP usually precedes an infection, such as sore throat, and it is a systemic vasculitis, basically just inflammation of blood vessels. It is characterized by dep deposition of immune complexes containing IgA and the treatment is just symptom control. It will resolve on its own. Thank you. I think this presentation would help you remember HSP better. And to have a look at this presentation, you can go to my blog and follow me on Google Plus, Sara Kadri. Thank you.